Hello everyone, we're watching... Apparently he did a video on Fable. Not not our friend Fable, but the game Fable. <laughs> I, I just realized how that sounds. Also, if you like my new model, tell me. If you don't, tell oh, me. God. If you don't, whatever. But I yes. know the rules and so do I. Say goodbye, Rick Ashley with a gun. Yes, people. Pretty much. Seth here. Today, I'll be covering an old what childhood the hell could... classic. Again. See, I've only played Fable Two and Fable Three, so I've never played this. Yeah. Fable. Fable. Fable is a <laughs> weird game series where you can kind of do whatever you want, but it mostly follows a storyline about you being a hero. Like you can have a family, buy a house, and whatnot, but you can't really do as much as you think. It's it's weird. It's a weird series. That taught me that outside the safety. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about Fable, not Fable. Fable. <laughs> anyway. Of cities and towns, the entire natural world. For those who don't get the joke, yes, our furry oh, friend Fable. who's usually into 40k is named Fable. Hope wants us dead, and you oh can't God, walk Fable. five meters. You can't keep mind, this joke going forever. Assaulted by wildlife. Oh, dear God. Assaulted by... Yeah, in this game, usually you're assaulted by all kinds of things. Usually wildlife. Usually well, monsters. There was one... There are like two really creepy parts in the games. Uh, I remember in Fable 2 and Fable 3. Where there's these like monsters that pretend to be human and they suddenly reveal themselves to you that they set a trap to try and eat you and devour you. Can buy happiness, Damn. reverses no. aging, and helps everyone forget that you butchered an entire village five minutes ago. And what? that divorcing your wife is objectively worse than murder. I <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I don't remember that. I usually try and like in these type of games I usually try to be the goodest person ever. I honestly should try to do the bad routes every once in a while, but I, I usually of don't. Of course, about Fable, but not just Fable. Fable, the Lost Chapters, and Fable oh. Anniversary. Because okay. they're all the same game, but Lionhead Studios needed three times the money. Released in 2004. I think Lionhead Studios went bankrupt. But I'm not I sure. I have. I don't remember. If anyone knows in the chat or in the comments, please tell me. Or Fable was the game that justified oh. buying an Xbox Classic. I know. I thought that was Halo One and Two. An Xbox Classic. It had about three games on it, and one of those was Enter the <laughs> Matrix, which still haunts me to this very day. But I digress. I anyway. heard about that game, and that was terrible. So I got the Matrix game that was on the PS2. It was actually pretty good. It was alive. He's just working on something. Fable that is good is to hear. About an experience well, we're not talking about Fable. At least we're not talking about this Fable, this game. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to, like... Can relate to having your parents killed and your village burnt to the ground, only to be Normal saved hero by an start. influential pedophile and forced what? into a life of indentured what? servitude. And after uh -oh. years of emotional and physical abuse, you're released into mm. the great wide world with the expectation that you mm. won't become a brooding menace to society. You're oh. conditioned like an animal to follow the action reward psychology of being a hero. The dopamine mm. release of completing quests is all that drives your addiction. For fame and relevance. Peter Molyneux mm. is a liar, but he's also a hell? genius because throughout the ultimate game is game for sure. forced to make choices, not reasonable choices, not thoughtful choices, but picking between the two extremes of morality, good or evil. Yeah, honestly, that is most of the game. They are the most extreme forms of morality. Here is a typical moral dilemma as presented by Peter Molyneux. As yeah. you walk along the road, you encounter a Peter homeless Molyneux. man being bullied by a delinquent teenager. The good option? Scare off a bully. The evil option? Beat that homeless man within an inch of his life and crack his rib cage open like a coconut crab. Both yeah. options give you the same amount of alignment points. It's insane, it's nonsensical, and I absolutely love it. There's yeah, I think they just carried on that tradition mostly in the games. There's not much to say about the story. You go do quests and uncover the fact that some of your family isn't dead. So oh. you reunite with them, only to have them all die except your sister, who I- Wait, what? Wow, that's uh, kind of disappointing. Hello, Dad. 
always spare because she's pretty is. damn hot. So <laughs> you kill the big bad guy that's been making oh. your life miserable, and Makes Fable sense. One ends there because they really? ran out of time. Then you wow, that's an incredibly short sounding game. Like Fable Two is much longer than that. You have to kill the big bad. It probably guy lasts a lot longer happen. than what it shows in the video. Probably, but but then again, maybe not. Are in the Lost Chapters, which is an expansion featuring a completely new area with reskins of all the monsters you fought before. Wow. And some extra content that was cut from the original. You can <laughs> do all this in the Anniversary Edition, which is a high-definition remaster of Lost Chapters with okay. extra bloom and gloom to drain out the color. While colors are faded, the characters aren't, and all the new models look great, including Lady Grey, the okay. only good romance option the in the entire game. And why is that? Not familiar, Lady Grey is the sultry mayor of Bowerstone North. She's also a crazy racist bitch that gets turned on by seeing black people die in front of her. Unlike what the fuck? What the actual Damn. fuck? I am. Um, I don't so know what to say about that. Romance partner then? Uh, probably because Seth is insane. Lost Chapters uh, Anniversary has built-in controller support for the PC. Anniversary Sounds about right. also has limited modding support, which is completely broken and unusable. Oh, However, wow. didn't stop one man whose autism was more powerful than we could have ever imagined. Mr. Daffini used his modding talents to replace every wasp in the game with Shrek. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what was the reason for this? Because <laughs> why the fuck not? Including the, the queen. <laughs> oh my god! God bless Australia. Fable is very simple. It's also very easy. I would actually be very impressed if you somehow managed to lose the game. Because oh. you can't actually die as long as you're digesting food. Wait, what? Now, it's not a question of how strong you are. It's a question of. I don't want to face the ogre that can fly. <laughs> you're not the only one, Common. You're not the only one. So, you could just continue eating because it constantly, slowly but surely heals you. Apples you brought, you started Pretty much a like a Skyrim. at the Heroes mm. Guild, but after okay. a few tutorials, everything fast forwards until you're a fully grown adult. Before Sounds about right in a Fable game. Tolerate living with Whisper. It's time to wake up. Get out of bed, lazy bones. Doing unpaid labor for the guild. Well done, lad. The Beatles are all dead. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Just focusing on the act. Oh my Bring God. back tears while doing favors for the guildmaster. Just keep okay. going till I tell you to stop. Ah, now that's more. Like oh my God, you're doing this on purpose, Seth. We know you are. You've earned yourself some pocket money for that. Then you can finally go out into the great wide world of Albion. You can tell that ah, yes, is Albion by Britain, as all the peasants speak like they're inbred. They also have one of those characteristic British smiles. Mm. Lionhead Studios hates the word working class, so they've made every effort to make you hate them as much what? as possible. You can what? interact with them, use emotes, and even marry them. I learned very early in life that the only two ways to get out of marriage is through domestic violence or becoming a widow. As <laughs> a hero, you take quests from the guild. So oh, I, uh, I am... Uh, what the hell? Okay, well that's different are optional. Some are essential for progressing the story. They're quite straightforward. Occasionally, Whisper will show up to annoy you even more. And oh, she your experience points because her skill set is designed for kill stealing and contributing absolutely nothing to a team fight. The skill <laughs> points you did manage to save she from Whisper's firebombs and flips can be spent at the guild on upgrading your hero. As okay. you level up your abilities, your hero will also physically change, growing taller and more muscular. This game is living mm. proof that there's no excuse for being a manlet. So hit the gym and squat <laughs> what your the way hell is you? What the hell am I there looking at? There are downsides so? to upgrading your abilities. Okay. And each point spent makes you physically older. Developing oh. wrinkles, memory loss, and once you hit the that is strange. 65, forces you to spend about 20,000 gold on a hip replacement. You can choose not to do this, but you'll have to keep taking morphine shots to numb the pain for the rest of the game. There are Why does it make him older? Reverse aging, of course. Like sacrificing your wife to the dark gods. Well, <laughs> okay, that was the symbol of corn, the blood god from uh, 40k. If you guys didn't know that, 
which you guys should know this at this point because we've been anyway yeah yeah interestingly this is still slightly less evil than divorcing her what? There's a lot of skills to choose from but like men skills are why fully magic restores very slowly I guess he wants so the milk for the cornflakes I guess so plan on using spells the one outside uh. of being a mage is that you can still use emotes while spell casting so what the fuck? <laughs> you electrocute your enemies to death. others what are completely the? broken Just hit thrust in the air you blink behind enemies and abuse the AI fun fact, oh. Assassin's Rush can sometimes glitch into the terrain when combined with summon. Please don't use this in the Chamber of Fate, or you might accidentally glitch your way under the floorboards and obtain the Sword of Aeons 30 minutes after starting the game. What? The strike allows you to completely ignore the combat mm -hmm. system since it can't be blocked and has no cooldown, and Time Stop lets you run through about 80% of the game. Yeah, Time Stop in most failure. games There's is kind of broken. Out there, but they're far too balanced to be worth talking about, except mm -hmm. Heal. Heal is absolutely vital when your character gets too muscular, as your fists uh. might unintentionally kill your wife. What? Use heal between beatings to keep her healthy and to Why get the rid of hell are you doing this? Uh, why, why am I asking these questions? It's Seth. I shouldn't be asking yeah. questions. You in a court of law, quests typically award you a lot of gold. Most okay. players will spend this on improving their gear or buying new weapons. Real gamers spend it all on playing blackjack and buying <laughs> yourself an appropriate title so you don't go insane from listening to the villagers. Based mm. on old save files I found from when I was 12 years old, I can tell you with high certainty that the most popular titles everyone picked were Assassin, Necromancer, Oh. And Reaper. We were well all edgy kids back then. In yeah, the quest, you can go a lot of edgy kids did that back then. Let's be honest. It's not uh, hard to believe that kids chose the name Assassin, Reaper, and whatnot. Wander around town, trade, and get constantly mocked by older heroes who are past their prime. He can't entrust important quests to novices like you. I see they're letting the children out of the guild early these days. Now, move aside, will you? I don't need you crowding me too. Can you move away now? Wow, they are kind of mean. My plans. I hear you can make a decent living out of fishing. Or maybe begging is more your style. Wow, they the other heroes are kind of just jerks. What the hell? Damn. That is wow. They really are just jerks. Yeah. Not enough the guild master. Fable 1 is very different from Fable 2 from what I remember. Then again, you still have that tragic backstory thing. I think you have that in all three of the games, to be honest. ...will constantly Skype call you through your guild seal, giving you great advice when you need it the most. Your health is low. You know, jerk sometimes, but there's no excuse for being one. Yeah. Don't worry, you get a chance to kill them all later. What? It's time I showed the world who the real hero is. Oh. Well, I'm rather fond of my soul. I'm not giving it up without a fight. Oh, I guess if you go the bad ending, you murder these people. Uh, Remember, kill Br Brimrose in every playthrough. <laughs> Gain respect from... <laughs> That's from San Andreas. Damn. Well, yeah, they are such I jerks. I wouldn't be surprised if people decided to kill them. To be completely honest. Quests, puzzles, and fishing. However, fishing is a good way to catch carpal tunnel as it involves rapidly mashing left click on the PC. So oh. to avoid this, I well turn then. on my auto clicker. I set it to a one millisecond <laughs> delay time so I can catch the fish instantly. Modern problems require modern solutions. You can customize your hero however you You're like. Different bad. haircuts, yeah. facial hair, tattoos, and clothing will provoke different responses from the townspeople. Huh. Some of these might not make sense. So you should always ask yourself, what would a British woman find attractive? What? And go from there. The last chapters what let's the own a brothel as well, which what? you couldn't in the base game. Lost chapters really? are better uh. in every way compared huh. to the original. Oh, it's dear beautiful. God. It's got a lot to do, and it's absolutely busted with the ways you can abuse the system. Peasants oh my lack God. any kind of business sense, and will happily sell you all of their stock. Then they begin panicking from the lack of supplies and offer to buy it all back what? at great... Wait, in really? <laughs> short. Really? What the hell? <laughs> you buy all their stock and then turn around and sell it all back to them. <laughs> That's... 
Okay. Makes perfect sense. Okay, this game has a lot more problems than I even would have thought, but uh, you can do this. Yeah, it's unfinished, so that kind of makes sense. Economy. Holy shit! Oh used my to god! Pure good and extremely famous, so peasants oh. would never question why I need to lead them to a secluded spot in the woods. Oh. <laughs> there, they all die of mysterious circumstances. Huh. When this happens, the family would have to sell the house in order to pay for funeral expenses. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Dear God, Seth. I mean, I mean, in Fable 2 and 3, I mean, I bought every house and forced everyone to rent just so I could save the world, but uh, that was me. I would immediately snatch up the property and rent it out. Well, there is a thing where you need a lot of money to save the world in Fable 3, so I would literally just buy every house and then rent them out. And every yeah. business. I then hmm. repeat this for every... There wasn't a good reason why I did in Fable 2, I think. I just kind of did, Property so that I could buy the castle. Days later, the town is repopulated by the descendants of all those unfortunate peasants. Really? Benevolent landlords oh. For all eternity. Oh my god. that I may have had a role in their parents' demise. Fable. It's ridiculous, it's entertaining, and it's probably one of the most interesting games ever made by Peter Molyneux. If you haven't already, then I sincerely recommend you give it a try. And if you have, well, I'm just feeding off your nostalgia. This mm. time, the Lord of Lies gets my vote, and I give it a 6 the out Lord of 6, of which is the number of simultaneous wives you can have in every village, provided none of them ever find out. Personally, oh I look down on polygamy, so if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go hold hands with my husband. As always, more content, oh, wow. so stay <laughs> tuned. If you excuse me, I'm so gonna go hold hands with my husband. <laughs> for many members of a merchant's guild. I don't know what Seth does sometimes. And Bankrolling these videos, you're all I don't understand Seth sometimes, but yeah. I will say it kind that, of reminds me of uh, Let's Game It Out, sort of. I will say that it's pretty progressive at this time, or during this time, for the game to let him marry a, a man. Because <laughs> yeah. obviously they didn't do that back then, they usually didn't allow that. Yeah. Well then, <laughs> no one didn't even care, they understand, please do it. Yeah, honestly, Fable games are just kind of insane at times. Like, you can be the worst thing ever and people won't respond all that much. Yeah. He's just standing yeah. there. Pretty much. The same guy's just coming back trying to attack, he blasts him away. <laughs> Yeah, he just keeps hatred. using the. He keeps using that one spell just to push him back down for funsies. He's just not even moving. Yeah. Oh, and the guy gets back up and uses a shock spell. He's not even getting affected by it because he's not in the arena. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm going to attack. Oh. Blink. <laughs> oh, is that going to be this whole thing? Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Seth. <laughs> he's got a lot of patrons, I guess. He does! The amazing amount of Patreon. And I can see why. He's kinda crazy, but dear god does he put a effort into his videos. Yeah, true. He just keeps pushing him back each time he attacks. Is he gonna do anything different besides the one electric attack and the jump towards him? No. No, he's just, no, he's just gonna keep doing the two things. He's only got two things. Healing and then repel. Yeah, so, like I said before, that game yeah. is insane. <laughs> uh, what else would I be able to say about that? So, thank you all so much. If you like what we're doing here, please do consider following, consider doing, or, you know, consider subscribing, consider checking out any of our stuff, and we'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye!